Ah, it feels good to be back to football once again. Even though it's just preseason, it feels good to be back. I can tell you that, my friends. Hello, Silver fans. This is T, and you're in the place to be for Silver Education, Acquisition, and Entertainment. And hey, it is a beautiful day to be in the city of Chicago. I am at Soldiers Field, and uh, hey, I, this is hallowed grounds. Uh, this is... Uh, outside of Soldiers Field, uh, the old pillars that were part of the original architecture, and uh, it's a very special place uh, to come and watch a football game. Although we have this new stadium that is a bit of a monstrosity, actually, when I say new, it's only about 20-something years old, but the Bears are already talking about building a new stadium. Uh, the old stadium is uh, still intact. It's in some little remnants here and there. You can see the new stadium was built uh, right inside of the old stadium. And uh, I am going to be showing you a very, very special silver round. And it depicts a football player who is more than a football player to me, uh, someone who is a childhood hero. Uh, any of us who grew up in the 70s or 80s uh, around the Chicagoland area and uh, were into sports at all, of course, you know I'm talking about Walter Payton. I couldn't come to Soldier Field without showing you this Walter Payton round. And uh, hey, for those of you who are uh, youngsters out there and don't know about Walter Payton, uh, he, in many people's opinion, including mine, is the best football player to ever play the game. Uh, he played with a ferocity uh, that is unmatched. Uh, and this guy ran through uh, basically a brick wall just about every four yards uh, and I can tell you this football was a very different game back in the day much more brutal and uh, Peyton was one of those guys who uh, could do it all he could run he could even throw a pass uh, he can block and uh, he never shied away from contact. And uh, you could see that move he just made there was incredible. But he wasn't one of those dudes that was going to scamper right out of bounds. Uh, if he saw you coming to hit him, he put his shoulder down. And he was also a master of the stiff arm as well. He would put his shoulder down like that and run your butt over. 16,726 tough rushing yards. Uh, back in the day, the Bears game plan in the 70s used to be, uh, give it to Walter, Walter left, Walter right, Walter up the middle, give it to Walter Payton. And finally, when the Bears eventually got some decent players around him, well then, the rest was history. The Bears, the 85 Bears won the Super Bowl in January of 86. And so this video is dedicated to the late, great Walter Payton. Hey, stick around where I'm gonna show you some game film. Uh, the Bears are hoping their new quarterback does something special. Here we go. Here is his uh, first touchdown as a Chicago Bear. His name is Justin Fields. Uh, nothing there, nothing there. He scrambles and uh, makes it in for in a nine yard scamper into the end zone and the crowd went crazy. 